Hello everyone and welcome back to the Math Puzzle Crash Course. I want to review a, uh, a simple problem, a simple equation here that um, is stumbling some people uh, on the internet. Um, it's 3 minus 3 times 6 plus 2. Uh, first of all, I want to review uh, the order of operations, which is something that everybody should be following. Uh, this is how mathematics has been taught uh, in everybody's lifetime. A lot of times people forget, but uh, it basically works like this. The order of operations convention, you start first looking for parentheses or brackets. Uh, these are grouping symbols. Uh, number two, look for exponents. Sometimes they're called indices or orders. Uh, number three, multiplication and division left to right. Number four, addition and subtraction left to right. So if there are no parentheses or exponents, you start with multiplication or division solving left to right. And lastly, solve addition and subtraction left to right. So following order of operations, in this case, we have multiplication as our highest priority. Uh, so 3 times 6 is 18. Uh, now, be careful here because well, I see a lot of people uh, not pay attention to the signs and where they're located. The minus sign is to the left of the 3 times 6. So basically, you're, you're saying minus 3 times 6, the same thing as negative 18. So in this case, I'm fine saying 3 times 6 is 18 as long as I remember that I am subtracting it in the equation. you got to keep track of the signs. So um, number one, multiplication. Number two, addition and subtraction left to right. So I have 3 minus 18 plus 2 equals minus 13. So you say, well, gee, why, uh, why don't you just put the multiplication first? Um, why would anybody write a problem that way? Well, it could be a description of a word problem. We don't really know. So it's it's not wrong to have the multiplication in the middle, but if it bothers you so much, you can move it to the front. Uh, it, like in this example here of the same problem, I've, I've rewrote it as negative 3 times 6 plus 3 plus 2. It's the very same thing as saying 3 minus 3 times 6 plus 2. Um, so if you do that and you move the multiplication to the front, uh, you take minus 3 times 6, you get minus 18. Minus 18 plus 3, remember what that is, minus 18 plus 3 gets you to minus 15, and then you add another 2, that gets you to minus 13. So the answer again is minus 13. There's even another way to do this. You can replace all of the multiplication with addition. And why is that? Because multiplication is nothing more than repeated addition. Think of multiplication as a shorthand. Uh, for addition. So here, if I have 3 minus 3 times 6 plus 2, you can see I highlighted the uh, the 3 times 6. It's the same thing as saying 3 minus and then the quantity 6 plus 6 plus 6. Because what is 3 sixes? 3 sixes is the same thing as adding 3 sixes, right? So it's 3 minus the quantity 6 plus 6 plus 6, which will end up being minus 18 again. And it's fine to add those parentheses. I added those parentheses. I could have e just as easily written 3 minus 6 minus 6 minus 6 plus 2 equals minus 13. That'd be the same thing. So don't get confused over adding parentheses. If, you, if you're smart about parentheses and you know where to add them, you're not affecting the order of operations. I did nothing here to change the order of operations by adding those parentheses. You have to understand that, that that minus sign distributes through all those sixes. So um, I, hope, I hope that's clear. Um, I see a lot of confusion with that. Um, as already stated, multiplication is repeated addition. Division is multiplication by a reciprocal. Exponents are repeated multiplication. Parentheses are just grouping symbols that tell us to resolve operations inside of those parentheses before solving anything outside of the parentheses. So the order of operations convention is not arbitrary and it makes sense. Uh, again, the uh, the math puzzle crash course, we have a channel on uh, YouTube. 
Um, if you uh, like what you see, please feel free to like, uh, please feel free to share. Um, I appreciate people who have shared the videos uh, in the past to help explain things to people. Um, that's the whole point of the channel. It's not to humiliate people, it's to help educate, um, you know, remind people of, of how mathematics actually does work. Um, so we do have a channel on YouTube. Please like, share, subscribe, comment. You know, I do welcome comments. If there's, you know, if you see a puzzle and you haven't seen anybody answer it and you want, uh, you know, you want me to do a video on some puzzle that may be viral on the internet, I'd be, uh, I'd be happy to do that. You know, I'm kind of scanning uh, the internet myself and looking for things that I think might be useful uh, and, uh, and trying to do videos, but I, I do appreciate any input. Um, so yeah, we've also got a Facebook page, uh, where I will try my best to post anything upcoming there as well. So, uh, you can search for the Math Puzzle Crash Course on Facebook and YouTube. And, um, I, if you've stuck with me this far, I do appreciate your time. And I hope this video has been helpful. Uh, have a great day.